Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about carrots and how to prepare carrots and get them ready to be used. And the big question at hand is to peel or not to peel? That is the question. First of all, when you're using fresh carrots, you definitely want to give them a good wash, whether they're organic or conventionally grown. Wash them well and scrub them before you go to use them. You also want to cut off the remains of that stem end, the top end of the carrots that had the greens coming out. And then uh, if you want to peel them is really optional. It's really up to you and it may depend upon how you want to use your carrots as to whether or not you really feel like you want to peel them. I have a very comprehensive video on that topic on where you can use peel versus unpeeled carrots. And I'll put a link to that one below. But know that peeling carrots is actually an optional thing. Now, you might notice that when you peel carrots and you store them for a while, they'll get a whitish type of film or a coating like on the outer uh, edge of the carrot. That's really the carrot's way of protecting itself from dehydration. That's all it is. The carrots are just starting to dry out a little bit and they're trying to protect themselves by forming that whitish layer on there to help keep them from drying out even more. So if you've got peeled carrots and they're turning white, you don't need to peel them again. Just run them under some water and that'll help to refresh them and so they'll look nice and peeled again and they won't look that filmy white on there. If you happen to have bought carrots that have the greens still attached, know that the greens are edible, but they do have some compounds in them, some alkaloids and nitrates that might bother some people. Okay, they are edible, but you, if you are sensitive to alkaloids or nitrates, you probably don't want to eat the carrot greens, okay? So if you have carrots with the greens and you opt not to eat them, I suggest that you throw them out the back door. There's probably a rabbit living in your yard somewhere that would absolutely thank you from the bottom of its heart for throwing those greens out the door. Well, I do hope that this helps you out. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.